Hello there, everyone, and welcome to another Sekai broadcast from the Jason Manning, a.k.a. Sekai Leader. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and actually be turning off my webcam here in a second because I noticed in the last video there was just a little bit of information you guys couldn't see thanks to my webcam's intrusiveness. So we're going to turn that off real quick. Yeah, there we go. So um, don't mind the previous typings. I was just making sure that I have the setting proper. But uh, yeah, guys, we are going to be starting off today by explaining how to install and some really quick tips on how to use Inkbot R2. Really amazing bot. A lot of people know about it and a lot of people don't know about it. It's very useful. It's a Twitch bot as well as I think you can use it for YouTube and other things. Let's see here. Uh, you can connect your game with your game ledge, your Spotify, uh, some cloud servers, and also you can connect it to your Discord, which is really cool. It's very, very useful and a very in-depth bot that has a lot of major settings. These are just the major, major, major listings. And then the settings get really, really, really in-depth and you have a lot of things you have to add and all that. And then, for instance, if you can go down to the roles, where are they? Currency. You have so many roles you can set up and so many different things. They're just very, very useful. Super cool. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to be quickly explaining how to install this. Um, a lot of people have issues with installing it. I think that Ankbot, for most people, says, uh, for instance, uh, Windows Defender, says that Ankbot is actually a virus when you first try to install it. But we are going to go ahead and go through the installation process. Um, I actually made a backup folder just in case. Uh, me installing it resets everything. So we're going to close that Ankbot. But actually, wait, first... I want to show you guys, show you guys how awesome Inkbot is. This is my chat for my Twitch, okay? And this is just my favorite thing about Inkbot. I know other bots do this and stuff. But Inkbot connects all this so well and so elegantly. And it's free. And there's nothing you have to pay for with Inkbot. It's so awesome. I love the creator. Um, but, I mean, my favorite thing is the SFX commands. And these are in my, my Twitch chat, uh, second leader underscore. But check this out, guys. So, Eggbot allows me to do things like this. Damn! Type in a command into the chat, either exclamation point, something. It's broken. It's fucking broken. Fix it, please. It's broken. That's my own personal command. But yeah, you just type in anything. You can set the command to whatever you want it to be. That is the coolest fucking thing about Inkbot. Like, seriously, it's so badass. And when I first opened it, I was so confused. I was like, shit, where the fuck do I start? In truth, I'm going to say right now, Inkbot is very, very complicated. But you get to hang it very fast. And everything is set into obvious subcategories, sub-subcategories, and categorized perfectly so that you understand where everything is and where it belongs. For instance, I was looking for roles, whereas the roles slash ranks are actually under currency because obviously the roles and the ranks mainly have to do with the currency and the uses of currency inside it. So for instance, we have Heist and Arena, which are their own games, their own portions of the bot, but the currency also deals with all the different things that people are allowed to do, what their permissions are, and things like that. And then you have the heists, and this is so in-depth. There are percentages that even I didn't really go into. So many different messages and commands and things that the bot responds to. It's so awesome, and I love it, because it does everything that all the other bots do. It has the SFX commands, like I said. allows you to do giveaways really efficiently. allows you to do polls and bets with your chat and viewers. It allows people to play games in your chat while you're playing games and interact with the bot in a way that makes it almost like an AI. If you come, if you make it to where the bot, if you program it enough personally like I have, and even more than I have, this bot becomes its own viewer, its own moderator, rather than just being commands that are there to be used by the moderators, like Nightbot, for instance. So it also has song requests. And again, uh, as I said before, you can actually connect it up to Spotify or just YouTube. It's very, very useful. Um, it's, it's amazing. It does in-chat commands when people follow you. You can set it up so many different ways. And then even in the settings, there are things that 
that just go even more in depth for all the different settings and things that you can do. It's it's just so awesome. I'm not going to go into all of it today, but just quickly going to go over installation and my suggestion on how to deal with how much shit goes on in this bot. I still haven't even fully grasped the depths of this awesome program. But what we're going to do, we'll close out of it, get off of it. What you're going to want to do, and as usual, my uh, my way of explaining things is hopefully simple. Go to fucking Google, type in Inkbot, make sure you go to inkbot.com slash download. You're going to download the R2 version. Um, if you don't already, please do download the uh, C++. Um, usually, almost everyone has those. We're going to go download the EXE just to make things faster. Terms and conditions, if you want to go over them, awesome. I went over them, uh, just mainly uh, slowly skimmed through originally. It's actually a very large file. There we go. Just had to quickly unplug the uh, Ethernet cord and plug it back in. My internet does that sometimes. It's really weird. Go and open that up. And again, see, it says uh, it's by an unknown publisher. And um, it might be dangerous to your PC. Just go ahead and... Accept that. Accept the uh, terms of agreements. I actually recently updated this, I think a couple months ago. If that, maybe like two months ago. Um, obviously, you want to add the exceptions because this allows for a stable connection. Inkbot is not a virus. I'm not the creator, obviously. So, hopefully you can believe me. <laughs> but yeah, Inkbot's not a virus. So don't, 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 don't hurt it. Don't, don't hurt its feelings. Don't make it blocked. So take a second. Gotta load up. Now again, I'm not sure if this is gonna keep my settings or not. But um we're gonna go ahead and see. Uh yes, update. Okay, so cool. This might have downloaded an old version. Obviously there's gonna be updates. Oh yeah, it, it kept it kept it a little bit. It kept some of the Interesting. Yeah, just go ahead and download the update, quickly restart. Uh, the cool thing about this bot is I'm pretty sure I've noticed that it doesn't use a lot of CPU. Um, and it can go through multiple commands at a time as well. There's no limitations really. Um, the one problem I keep running into though, because obviously I'm going to give you my true review. Even though I removed all of the cooldowns on the, um, the, commands the sfx commands for some reason people still can't use them one after the other it's really weird so my suggestion is and what was suggested to me when i first got this bot was just start at the beginning obviously you're going to want to go to your accounts and connect your your bot account because you're going to need a different account for the usage of the bot in the chat. Um, because I like to be able to do stuff. I also have my streamer account connected. You don't actually have to have it connected. I do. Um, I don't have it connected to my Discord yet, but I do have it connected to my game with, so obviously. Um, I should disconnect with everything because you have to disconnect and move it back up. Interesting. I don't know what that said. I just clicked OK instinctively. Well, I'll look over here. But yeah, just connect all your accounts. First thing, little, little person head down here, bottom left. And then you want to go to the settings. You obviously want to, uh, you want to set up everything that you can. Just look over all the, the main settings. Don't worry about all the inner settings like here. For a, a little bit macros and hotkeys some people have these for instance for um, their sound codes and stuff I don't really mess with it um, I actually think this was on on a lighter style for some reason when I first installed it but I set it to dark which is weird because I'm pretty sure it's by default on dark but um, maybe it's the, the download I got from my friend <coughs> excuse me so yeah once you have all that done, my suggestion, what was suggested to me, is just go through everything. 
make sure that all your stuff is set up. Um, what I did because again, Inkbot does everything that all the other bots do and more. Um, and it, it combines everything. Like certain bots have certain things, and then, for instance, Boobot, you have to fucking donate or pay monthly to be able to get all the other stuff, which is just stupid. It's the same for some bots. And then Nightbot doesn't have some things or messes some things up and they don't really fix it. And that's just how most bots are, right? And Inkbot has these glitches here and there. But the cool thing about Inkbot is they put almost everything. You could possibly want, for me, everything I want is in this bot, really. There, I don't think there's actually much that I want more from this bot other than a tad bit more stability. Like, this bot works perfect in my eyes, but I mean, you know, nothing's ever really perfect. There's tiny little flaws here and there, but Inkbot's fucking sick, dude. <laughs> I don't know how to, I don't know how to be professional when talking about this. It was just blew my mind when I saw everything that came in this, but I took all my commands and I put them in Inkbot. I put all my commands in Inkbot, and I just got rid of Nightbot. I got rid of Muxy and all of that. I mean, I still use Muxy for my alerts and stuff, and I got rid of stream labels, everything. Just, just got rid of it, and I, I, all I use is the alerts now, the stuff that pops up on my stream. But all chat stuff, all commands are done through Inkbot because Inkbot does it efficiently, and you can set everything up so perfectly i just i just love how everything is so simple like this looks really simple and small but it it is so when you hover over everything it explains it like if you're new and you don't understand this stuff like i do or like other twitch people do who have like used like five different bots like me then every little thing is explained it's all highlightable and has a simple explanation it's fucking awesome i just love it I love it so much. Um, obviously, commands are the commands that are used in chat uh, by either your moderators, yourself, or the viewers. <clears throat> Timers are kind of like self-explanatory. What they are is uh, they're commands that automatically uh, things get put into the chat after a certain interval of time, um, how active people have been in the chat. Uh, so if, say, you have the interval on five minutes, but the chat line on 10 lines and you have like one viewer and they've only like said like five lines of, of chat, then after the five minutes, it's not going to put the timer in there because if it did that every five minutes, then it would kind of eat up the chat, right? It would be a little unsightly. Quotes is something I really want to implement into my stream. Um, this allows you to obviously set up a list of quotes that people can look at. It's really awesome. Uh, say you have someone that says something funny in your stream when you're playing with them or someone that says something interesting or even yourself or a moderator in the chat or like you say something on stream and someone's like, oh man, we got to quote that. That sounded awesome. Then a moderator or yourself can add it. You can actually add it to, to where everyone or re only regulars or subscribers. It really depends. Like You could set it up so that they can add a quote. And it's just so awesome. And I love it. Um, the extra quotes is a little bit different. Um, this is kind of like a separate listing, I think. I haven't really looked at this much, so I can't really explain it. Sorry. Uh, the counter is really cool. You can use this for your deaths, kills, things like that inside of a game. Uh, for instance, people would use this while playing Dark Souls. However many times they like won a match in PvP or died. You can use it in Call of Duty. You can use it in DayZ. It's just something that makes the stream a little bit more interactive. Giveaway, self-explanatory. Allows you to set up giveaways and raffles and things like that. SFX, again, is what I use so that I have sound files that I've personally made or gotten off of YouTube or from other people. And it allows for a command in the chat to be used by everyone or a moderator specifically, depending upon the command, um, its intrusiveness or how loud it is. Or what it's meant for and it actually plays a sound effect to the stream um, and you'll also hear it so for instance i have the broken command that i played earlier and that allows people to tell me hey yo the stream's frozen or it stopped working or for some reason you're muted and so i hear that through my headset personally and you know because maybe i'm not looking at the chat maybe i'm in combat when i hear that i i know like okay shit, something's wrong with the stream i gotta look at it it's really important the currency is uh, the ranks and the roles and things like that and how specific people get points in your stream if you're using them. Some people don't. 
this can be used for song requests. It can be used to enter raffles, to get tickets and things like that. And everything here is, is just interlinked. Everything works together. There's a way to link up everything. Uh, the quotes, the commands, the SFX, the song requests, all can be linked up along with the heists and the arena and the polls and everything can be linked up to uh, the amount of money slash coins slash whatever your your currency is in your stream chat. And obviously, like, you can, you can give people stuff. You can set it up to where, like, they get... If they're a subscriber, they get bonus points every couple of minutes or whatever. There's offline payouts. It's all so insane. But yeah, guys, I mean, everything's there. All the usual stuff. The song request is there. And it's all in a small, small window that can be easily expanded and everything can be seen. But like, I just use it. You can go down here in the corner. And then I have my OBS on top. And that's how I stream. Everything is small and compact. My chat's over here. My, my Nuxi slash stream labels are right here. And that's just how I see everything. That's how I stream. It just makes everything so interlinked and just easy. But uh, yeah, guys, that's Ank. And um, I hope you get it. I hope you set it up. If you have issues, please leave some comments down below in the comment section. Message me personally on Twitch or on Twitter. Go ahead and share this video if you think there's a streamer that you know of or a friend, family member who's thinking about streaming that can use this because this will make their life so much easier. It takes probably 30 minutes of your time to set up if you go really in depth. Um, it took me about 30 minutes to set up everything. The main stuff, obviously, setting up my account because you have to get authorization and everything. But again, the, the people who make this, they help you out. They have guides on everything. And they're obviously the community out there like myself and other people making these videos, trying to explain everything. But this has been a second broadcast for truly Jason Manning, aka Safe the Leader. Hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great rest of your fucking day, night, morning, whatever time it is. Have a great rest of it. And I will see you guys in the next video.